have been in the freezer for quite a little while and that's why we love a freezer because a freezer freezes things to where they don't spoil and your fruit won't go to waste so we have some fresh fruit because technically i froze it while so was fresh so it's fresh frozen fruit we got some blueberries here some pineapples now we have really fresh bananas that um I put into the freezer those are frozen but then we have some extra ripened bananas that's almost caramelized which is going to give it a delicioso flavor and then of course we have our <laughs> our navy beans that are in our beautiful harry potter mugs that we made for the new year because again you know what this show is all about mike and magic we're making some magic and what's more magical than a delicious treat like a navy bean smoothie Piano, so well, let's get into it. You're gonna take whatever kind of food processor that you have, by the grace of law, I have a nice, durable ninja blender, and you are going to basically just pour everything inside. So first, we're gonna put in our blueberries, right in there like that. And then let's do the bananas. It really doesn't matter which order, but you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm deciding as I go. Ooh, the sweet and sweet. So then let's do, actually, let's do the beans next. So this is about um, a cup and a half of already cooked, of course, <laughs> navy beans. The delicious naiva beans. Per how to eat to live. Did that way. <laughs> I can't. I, here, here we go. You know, her how to eat to live. The only bean that Master Farad Muhammad advised was the small navy bean. Granted, we do eat a few other beans, such as sometimes black beans, sometimes we eat lentils, but nothing gives you the nutritional value that the navy bean does. So, the beautiful navy bean. Mighty, mighty, mighty it is. All right, in goes the pineapple. And then, <laughs> actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix this and then add the rest of the fruit. I think we got some fallen soldiers. Sometimes I would, um, I think, <laughs> no, yeah. Sometimes um, you, you can add agave or honey as a natural, as a nice natural sweetener, but or you can just leave it as is, since this one has some very caramelized um, banana, as well as pineapple, which I usually never put pineapple in it, but we have some in the freezer, so I'm just like, why not? So this one, I'm not gonna add any agave or any honey to it. navy bean smoothies but actually we're making navy bean smoothie cubes and then I'll show you how to make the smoothie out of the navy bean smoothie cubes and so rather than keeping um, rather than having to mix everything together all that well gosh how do you say it rather than having to have everything separate and then mixing it when you want it everything's already mixed to where you're gonna take your smoothie cubes and then you're going to ah uh, Put those into your glass, well, put it back into your blender in a cup size or whatever kind of blender that you have. And then you have an individual serving right there. So it's great. And we place it into ice cube trays, of course. Now I actually usually spoon this in 
nice and thick. Oh, these are gonna make amazing smoothies. Now, Alima, who is my daughter, who is 12, she has been on one meal a day for maybe about a year or so now. And this is an option for if she's hungry, if she wants a little something, since she, yes, she's still growing. Um, if she wants something, she's, you know, she can definitely have a delicious navy bean smoothie early in the morning so her system still isn't working all throughout the day. Now we know that, I believe it's page 39 in How to Eat to Live, it is mentioned that if you start a baby off on one meal a day, from when they can partake of solid foods, they can live to be 240 years old, which is the inspiration for me having Alima start her one meal a day. Now, she is pretty still diligent with it, but if the off chance she gets hungry, she can have one of these delicious navy bean smoothies. We have all of our trays, all, we have two trays. We have both of our trays filled. These are gonna go into the freezer for freezing. And then we put the rest into this bowl to put into the refrigerator whilst those are freezing to then transfer into the freezer trays afterwards. Yep. Back in just a flash to show you. Okay. And we are back. It's another day. Most of our smoothie cubes are frozen. Actually, all of them are frozen. So we've already placed them into this bag. Um, nice freezer bag and we're going to put the rest in here for storage just popping them on out placing them in the bag that alima can come oh did i not introduce you how rude introduce yourself to the beloved viewers i am here you guys alima is Back. Ooh, I've never been on the show, and I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Alima's my daughter. Mm -hmm. Look how so pretty in purple. <laughs> Tarva's my favorite color. Oh, no. Yes. So Alima's going to demonstrate how easy it is for her to make her own delicious navy bean fruit smoothie whenever she wants to, you know, in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Um, in the morning. She can do that herself, so I'm just gonna be here to assist. Yes, yes. Do you want me to start? Yes, so you can explain how many smoothie cubes you usually do. So if I want it to be thin, I use four cubes, but if I want it to be a little thicker, I use five. So I think I'm gonna do okay. five. Four today. Four? Okay. Yeah, four is good, because it's late. Okay. absolutely love them everything i've been doing this for oh, three at least three years remember in our old apartment really yeah remember i started making these in the old apartment i don't remember i really don't children they never remember anything so yes these are those smoothie cubes in oh this came right here yes right did you put one in Well, it gave me one, two, three, this four, this five in it. I don't need 
left is five or six. Okay. So I put the chocolate in. That's, and this is some very good organic dark chocolate. This is green and blacks organic dark chocolate. Absolutely no soy. I'm actually going to be making, so this is the chocolate that I use for the, um, for various products. I use it for the dark chocolate oatmeal raisin crisp bars. I use it for, or protein bars. So you can get it in two different ways. Protein bars are more crispy. Mm -hmm. Um, I use it in the triple chocolate toffee cookies. And yeah, I use it in those two things. But I'm gonna actually start making my own chocolate because most um, chocolate has soy emulsifier. Make so sure you check your ingredients. Make sure you check your ingredients on everything. Because of course, soy is just about everything. It's like I'm gonna have to make the graham crackers for the s'mores cookies, because the kosher s'mores cookies, because there's soy in that. And we do not consume soy as best as we possibly can to avoid it. So, I want to give you all the best product. Yeah. And that's at Mariam's Kitchen dot square dot site. We ship nationwide. Okay, so when I'm done putting all of my ingredients in the single serve blender. You can actually drink it out of there, but. You can't, but I want to put it in my Harry Potter glass. I hope it will fit, actually. I'm not sure. navy bean, um, some caramelized bananas, meaning, you know, they're very, very ripened, some fresh ripe bananas, oh, blueberries, blueberries, rabbit, berries, strawberries, I think the and blackberries. I think the orange juice makes it a little tart. Yeah. Delish. Delish. Yeah, tartness is great. You know what? Sometimes I think we would add um, agave or honey to it. You would? I think. I don't know. I would use a different juice. I think we said it probably to it. Either way, you can add agave, you can add honey. This is the navy bean smoothie, the navy bean fruit smoothie for your pleasure. Your eat for your drinking, enjoyable pleasure. Thank you. And that is the end of this episode. And we pray that you enjoyed it, that you learned something that you can incorporate it into your healthy eating diet, your healthy eating regime. And until next time, mixing managed. Bye. Bye. Magic. Mariam's making magic.